Hello class, Mrs. Olson here. So last week before the break, we started talking about Dragon and the Bully by Steve Herman. Today, I'm going to read it for you and you'll be prepared for this week's journal entry and our assignments this week. Dragon and the Bully by Steve Herman. Once upon a time, there lived a boy named Drew who had himself a dragon by the name of Diggory Dew. There's Drew, there's Diggory Dew. When you have a pet that burns stuff, that's not very cool. So Drew enrolled his dragon in a special kind of school. Diggory learned to fly and keep his scales all shiny bright and to get along with others and try hard not to bite. He learned to snap his tail and make his face look very scary and never ever shoot a flame unless it's necessary. When it came to learning lessons, Diggory Do was number one. Yet despite success, we must confess, he wasn't having fun. There was a dinosaur by the name of Stinky Steve who bullied Diggory Do and did some things you won't believe. Stinky Steve would cut in line and would not wait his turn. He often talked in class and made it difficult to learn. I know it's difficult for Mrs. Olson's friends to learn when some of her other friends are talking in class. He always laughed at Diggory Doo, which wasn't very nice. He poked him with a pencil and had tripped him once or twice. Stinky stomped on Diggory's tail, then he kicked him in the knee. When Diggory Doo began to cry, Stinky howled with glee. One day, Stinky set the teacher's desk on fire, then blamed the deed on Diggory Doo. Stinky was a liar. Stinky was a meanie head. Stinky was a brat. And Diggory Doo decided that he'd had enough of that. Diggory had his feelings hurt. Diggory Doo was sad. Diggory felt disgusted. And Diggory Doo was mad. Diggory Doo went home and had a little talk with Drew. Diggory told his friend what he thought he ought to do. First thing in the morning, I'll punch Stinky in the nose. Then I'll pull his hair, then I'll stomp on Stinky's toes. I'll burn up Stinky's homework until it's a pile of ash. Then I'll steal Stinky's lunch bags and I'll throw it in the trash. Stinky Steve's a bully. He's the worst I've ever met. I'll teach Stinky Steve a lesson. You bet he won't forget. Mm-mm-mm. Looks like Diggory Deuce planning some retaliation. Is that the right thing to do? Drew thought a while and then replied, I know that it's been tough. And when it comes to Stinky Steve, I'm sure you've had enough. May I suggest to do what's best? I think that you will find you get more satisfaction when you respond by being kind. You are the happy dragon, but Stinky Steve is not. Perhaps it makes him sad that he lacks the things you've got. It may be that he's jealous and he thinks that it's not fair, that he doesn't have a friend like me to give him loving care. So maybe Stinky Steve acts like that because he's jealous, because he doesn't have the things that Diggory Doo has. If this is true, said Diggory Doo, I guess I must agree. I should be nice to Stinky Steve, although he's mean to me. I'd rather punch him in the face. I really can't deny it. But when I get the chance, I suppose that I can try it. Do you think Diggory Dew's going to do the right thing? The next day at school, there was Stinky Steve. But Diggory Dew saw something else that he could not believe. Stinky Steve was crying, for he fell and skinned his knee. And Diggory Doo remembered that kindness was the key. Although he could have laughed at him or kicked him while he's down, 
Diggory Doo decided to lift Stinky off the ground. Stinky chose the right thing to do, class. He dusted off the dirt and wiped Stinky's tears away. Then Diggory Doo asked Stinky Steve if he would like to play. Stinky Steve could not believe it. He was so surprised. Then Stinky Steve. Then Stinky Steve shocked Diggory Do when he apologized. That was a bit of a tongue twister. Diggory Do and Stinky Steve had finally made amends, and now they have become the very best of friends. So if you know a bully and you don't know what to do, a little kindness just might work. Just ask Diggory Do. So Diggory Dew had two choices, friends. He could have retaliated and he could have beat up Stinky Steve, but he chose to take Drew's advice and act with a little bit of kindness. And when that happened, Stinky Steve apologized. And now Stinky Steve and Diggory Dew are the best of friends. So take that lesson in mind if you ever encounter a bully. I hope you like the book, kids. Now remember, stay safe, wash your hands, and don't touch your face. Mrs. Olson will see you back in class soon enough. Bye, guys.